Hi, Mandra Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his teardown lab. Look at this. It's my newly finished board, and it's almost too shiny. So I'm going to whip this away because we need to do something dirty, dead dirty. And we're going to do it with the Afbest handheld vacuum cleaner. So if you remember, Afbest sent me an air uh, cleaner, which was really good. And it was automatic and it's crazy. Like if I literally let, let off some wind in one corner of the room, it starts automatically sniffing it out with its little sniffy nose, however that works. So I thought, let's try this one. Handheld vacuum cleaner, aspirador di mano, whatever that means. <laughs> Hoover of, is that Mano Hand? Yeah, Manos and the Hands of Fate. Uh, super, uh, sorry, su Super Succion. Strong power, fashion design. Diseno di mode. It's design the mode with rechargeable battery. Suitable for the cleaning of car, sofa, furniture, and etc. 100% qualify. We are 100% qualified. Oh, there's a little informational here. Let's have a little look. See, mm -hmm. it's the only thing in the corner of the box. There are two sets of accessory for this product. One piece brush to clean the, to clean the soft product surface. One piece is collector A, and one piece is collector B to suck and clean the corners and thin gap. Well, yes, the usual types of suction attachments. I'm looking at the bottom. Nothing on the bottom, and then there's a picture on the top, and it looks a bit like a dust buster. Now. One of the reasons I really like the idea of one of these is because we have uh, a lot of filth in the back office, as you know, and I kind of bring in our dyson -y thing from the house. It's sometimes a bit too much and it sucks up a lot of stuff. And I sometimes want those surface mount components. I want to recover them. So I thought this thing looked like it had at least a container that you could sort of shook out into a tray and have a look. So here's your product image. Collector B, Collector A, U USB recharging cord. I do like things that are recharged from USB. Uh, right, this is what we want to know though. So, half an amp USB, it'll take 15 hours. One amp USB, it'll take eight hours. 1.5 amp, it'll take five and a half hours. And then, hang on, 2.5 amps, four hours. And then, oh, 12 volts, 1.5 amp, three hours. So it can do a 12 volt charge, that's cool. What is that though? Is that like the dash charger or something? We need a right charger. And then you get the thank you with whatever that is. Some special codes, voucher codes. Now, I don't know how much this retails on. I was not paying attention. It'll have a look down below. I think it's, it's quite a reasonable amount, but bloody hell, it's heavy. This is a heavy beast. So it says it's current 15 amps. Nah, can't be. Ooh, it does. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it is a bloody beast. It's heavy. On the back, though, there, right there, you can see it has a USB micro. So, yeah, you do charge it by the USB. Right. Not interested in the box. I'm quite, um, I'm surprised it doesn't have a wall hanger, but then again, I'm not really sure. We've used them in the past, and then a lot of the times they kind of just, uh, to be honest, the Hoovers never outlive the wall hanger bracket. But uh, I quite like the old dice one. That one works all right, but it's just probably okay. I'll sling it in a drawer or something. Right, so you push that down. I mean, that's pretty typical. And this whole um, cyclonic, it says it's a cyclonic chamber, but I don't really think it is. I don't see any indication of that. But it does have a paper filter with a mesh filter on top. Let's see if we're tearing down the filter, which is always the worst thing to break. Um, I don't know if it's actually removable. I should just RTFM, but no, I don't know. I wouldn't strain that too much. Um, normally of these though you just give them a shook out like that and I suspect this will be no different. Whether or not you can... No, it does say lock, unlock, hang on, hang on. Oh. Yeah, so you can wash, you can definitely wash that bit out and if you're careful a lot of paper element filters you can wash them out too. Good, we'll have a look, maybe there's some spares on the website but to be honest I don't think I've ever really replaced any of those. So pop that in there. Uh, again, Dustbuster style, you're gonna have a battery in here. Should we um, should we have a little look-see? I think we will. Q 
Curious George. Be kind of cool if you could use it as a power bank, couldn't you? <laughs> Maybe we should mod this. Make it a power. Oh. Steady. Mm. Ah, whoa, that is a battery and a half. Um, so it's a three amp hour, 7.2 volts. And yes, indeed, it probably would make quite a good power bank, but. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that today. That's where the weight is coming from. You said it has a bit of weight on it. I should imagine it's got quite a lot of runtime as well. We'll just pop that back in. So I did like that. You did. Did you notice, by the way, that battery has got nice connectors on that? This is a serviceable part. So well done, Afbest. I think the world should be more full. Should be more full. What kind of English is that? Should have more serviceable things. Um, so yeah, that's the weight. It's quite weighty. Light there when it comes on. You know how to use a blimmin' dustbuster. Right, so we've got some detritus here on the uh, back office bench. <laughs> it's <laughs> all I need to do is just move some things around. Run my. I'm going to run my hand along the back. Ah, oh, no, it's horrible. So gross. So disgusting. Look at that. Oh yeah, there you go. There's resin and wires and bits of safety pin. So maybe you can see that general detritus on there. Not a good colour this. It's like camouflage for filth. Right, let's do this thing. We're going to have a go sucking them up with the nozzle. Well, let's do it without nozzle first. <laughs> Safety pin. Get the safety pin. <laughs> to be honest, look, you couldn't get the safety pin, and it couldn't get that bit of wire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it that one. So we'll try it with its nozzle. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Cool. So given that the surface area of a, of a sort of safety pin is zero, it's pretty pretty impressive. So we're just going to chuck it out on this envelope. Let's see what we, what we harvested here. Filter, still pretty clear, no, no gunk. Look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. Look what it got there. I'll uh, reclaim that. Yes, please. And... The rest is for the rubbish. So yeah, that's pretty good. Let's uh, take this into the garage because there is something I was doing the other day that was particularly filthy and a particular uh, thing that the Dyson hates. It absolutely clogs its filter. And for that though, we're gonna use, I think this little brush. Let's do it. Okay, a bit tricky. Oh, this, this whole one-handed filming. Right, so I used this the other day and everywhere around here is covered in this really fine dust which is a combination of basically resin and plywood so let's see how we can do with that Ooh, so far so good Try the belt. Right, I think it's probably at the point where it's lost suction. So let's go and explore how that looks. The back office backup barred. Here we go. That's good. No dust in here. Still sounds pretty powerful. Yeah, can't hear any rattles and shakes. So this has got pretty bunged up. So let's see what that looks like. Ooh, so that fine, that super fine dust has made it in there. And I'm going to just it's kind of caked on. So if we take this off, this is the sort of test that I want to take off that filter. 
and the reason being, I want to take this out. Let's see how much escaped around the seal. So some did escape into that. And if we make a clean spot here, let's see how much is on this. So it's, do, it's doing the job. It clearly protected the main machine. So I suspect some got around the edge of that, basically where it's connected there. It's not a massively tight seal. But you know, did the trick. Let's see what it got off in total. Yeah, fair amount. So I think I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, if I pop these back on, let's see. Give it a little blow. Let's see how it sounds. If we can suck this lot up again, then I guess we haven't lost, uh, lost any suction or negligible amounts. Half best. Half best. The company what sucks. Right, ready. <gasps> Pretty good, got blocked up again, but that's it. That's about its limit of fine particulates. One more test. Final test isn't dust, it's just my box of little screws. I think you've all got one of these for your special little screw applications. So I don't know what to use. I think maybe this should be replaced with one of the other brushes. What's that one for? Mm, let's try this one. <laughs> Look at that. Can't believe it tried to get the HDMI plug. Um, let's feed it. Let's see if it could. It, can, it certainly can lift it. Oh, yeah, it got it. Straight in the tank. It's trying, bless it. It's trying. <laughs> right so i think that's pretty good isn't it i mean that is quite impressive isn't it so that's all of my screws there's still one in there get out of it plus four hdmi connectors and a bit of choc choc box choc box box thing so there you go. So I think I'm going to put a link down below to the Afbest handheld vacuum cleaner with the USB. And I mean, that's the USB wire. Are you curious to see how much uh, of a rate it charges at? I won't bother hooking up that part of it. In fact, I'm not even going to use the wire it came with. I already have a wire here. Look at this mess, my mess of wires. Eating as much charge as it can. If you need a vacuum cleaner, look at the links below. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think it was under 30 notes. I think you could do a lot worse, to be honest with you. I've had a lot of like dirt devils and all of that sort of stuff that have, you know, not really lasted the course. I would certainly uh, give this one a bash recommended. As ever, thanks for watching.